In this video, we are going to be looking at the fastest way to create a contact form in Bubble. It is a beginner's style video. If you are interested in learning how to build a contact form in Bubble, follow along. Regardless of how you would go about creating a contact form with some inputs and some labels and so on, it's going to follow the same format. Create the UI validation and wire up the workflows so that they could either A, send the response to the database or B, send the response to the email or both. In this one, the reason why I say create the UI could be anything you want is because, well, we're going to use this kind of blank canvas here and I'm not going to go about the uh, traditional way where I could go and grab some inputs. And again, this is for really the beginners out there who want to see, you know, just how is it to build something uh, like this. And typically folks, I would imagine, are wanting to just get something up that's functional. And so that's what we're going to be all about in this video. So I'm going to head over on this top right. You saw me click components where there's a couple different options here for different forms. And these are actually sign up forms, but we are going to repurpose it. And I'm just going to give this a nice roundness to match the roundness I have. Actually, that would be this one. And so under appearance on an image, if you want to define the borders independently, which I do because you can see I want the top right and bottom and bottom right to both have 32. But I really don't like I'll have the image uh, stay normal there. And let's go ahead just for funsies. We're going to give it this image here and then let's repurpose our form fields. So basically any type of contact, it's gonna have a maybe a name, maybe an email, and then maybe a message. So I'm gonna go replace element type and I'm gonna do search for multi line input. And then I'm going to stretch this out from 148 to, or from 48 to 148, basically. And then I'll just go ahead and delete this section out here. And then I'll say here, get in touch. So really the, uh, and actually I wanted to hit that because basically all of these workflows, I want to delete out. I want to set up my own and we have gone and taken the step to create the UI. Now let's look what type of thing we would do for validation. So basically the way that it will work is that we want this input to be checked as should not be empty and it is so great. Same for this email. This one should not be empty. So that is, uh, and same for this name. Basically, if all three of these we're going to say are required. Now, if we want to get something special here for this uh, asterisk, let's just go into our rich text editor here. Let's add an asterisk and let's give it a special color. There we go. And Let's go ahead and add that to all of these because I think it would make sense that if somebody's getting in touch, let's get their name. Let's get, let's know what they're getting in touch about. Now, obviously you could customize this with whatever logo that you would want. And let's also do one more thing on this one where the padding on the top, let's give it an eight. So it looks like it's actually got something going. Okay, now let's go, let's let's delete this. And what we've done so far is we've created the UI, we've created the validation for it, which was just these three simple checks of this input, input field should not be empty. Although I wanna say here, this one is an email and let's double check this one. It is a multi-line input, which I believe yeah, we can't put it as like a phone number or an email where it follows a certain format, but you definitely want the field to have the correct thing on it because then Bubble knows, yes, I'm looking for something with an at and a dot, you know, com or dot org or whatever, whatever have you. Okay, so maybe you want to say your name here. Now let's go ahead and wire this up. I think what I would like to do here, just to show off anyone again, this is kind of a new to new video for first timers. We are going to create a new data type and we're gonna call this contact. Well, we can put it there and we'll say contact messages. And we'll just say name, that'll be a text. 
email. That would be an email because there's a number of things. Okay, that'll also be a text. And then there is the message. There's a number of things that, uh, you know, you might want to store these, put them out, you know, have it have a table in here where they could be displayed where somebody goes and responds to them. Probably, though, it's easiest to have them be emailed. So let's go and see this wire up the workflows now. Well, we'll save it to the database and we will also send it as an email. Uh, first, let's go ahead and save it. So we're going to do create a new thing where we will create this new contact message that we just made. I'm going to click all fields and then we have a couple of inputs out there. And it looks like we also have some additional hidden stuff in here because, you know, there's like sign up versus login. So there's a, probably a group out here with some additional things in it. Yes, that would be this group login, which will just go and delete. That way, when we go here and we do input, we should only see the three that are actually visible. So we want the email, the uh, incorrectly labeled password, which is now we repurposed for message, and then the name, which we can just go for good hygienic. This would be input message, which you can note that it also changes and updates here. Okay, so that is method number one of saving the response to the database, which we'll see in a moment. We'll actually run this as a contact field. And then now we are going to do send and email. So I've gone ahead and just made some updates to this email um, sending. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these all set up. So that way we can insert our dynamic data. And you know I don't necessarily need to copy and paste these over. I can directly um, find them from here as well. I just want to show people that that is available in case you were not aware. Uh, this this thing that I have here, this uh, is a really, really old style uh, way to just mark this as bold so that it comes through. It's called BB Edit um, for anyone that is interested in knowing about that, but it just means this part will come through as bold. The messages, the stuff will be there. It's a new contact message. Now I do also want to do something special here. Check this, select this uh, different reply to address because then that way we can put in this one. So when we reply to the, you know, we can just directly reply to it. Okay. So that's it. Now let's go and give this a test. So there's two things that we expect to happen after submitting this form. So number one is that John does. John doesn't do anymore. He does. We expect to see it A, create this record in the database, and then B, send an email. So one thing that we did not do actually is we want to go and do uh, element actions, reset inputs. But let's go check out our database. So for this contact messages under app data, we can head on over to contact messages and there we see it that it's been added and saved here. And then also we can check over here, new contact message that this person, this was this bold uh, stuff on the text here, John does, and John does whatever. And then there's his message. And if we hit reply, then it's automatically set up to reply to this person. And there's one last optional step that you might want to consider doing. And that is if you're using a custom domain, it is adding a send grid API key. So that is over under settings, domain email. And if you set up a domain, you can go ahead and check out the video on this channel about setting up. So that way bubble has actually a limit in the in terms of the amount of emails you can send. It kind of depends on what plan, but there's a lot more scalability and reliability by using a, the infrastructure of a tool like SendGrid and it's free, I believe, up to about 1,000, 10,000 emails. Uh, don't quote me on that, but if you check their site, it's free till quite a bit. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more tips about Bubble, and thanks for watching.